Layer 1 Ascension Finally, my pilot win 64 training has paid off. Oh boy, this seems to be going all right. Wait a minute, the background's getting on close. Oh, Layer two. That life. Hey, don't loaf around. You got to finish that movie that you're supposed to be making and writing those songs for my intro. And you should be, hey, hey, don't run away. This will make sure that you get your work done before playing any games. You guys really need to play new games and not any of this old garbage. You gotta film a dead body. That's that's what's popping these days. That's what's on the TikToks. It's me, Mario. Fuck you! Don't tell me what to do. Did you hear that Ash Ketchum got arrested? Yeah. When you were in the bathroom, he took a Pikachu.
Hey, it's been a while. Yeah? How long has it been? Yeah, it's been like months, maybe? Not long, eh? Well, should we beat the 64? Let's do it. <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. We return. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's yeah. me. It's D I'm Darren, if you remember me, or the, it seems we've got some new people. So also I'm Darren for the new people. It's me, I'm Darren. I'm on the right hand side of the screen. But there's another guy on the other side of the screen. What's what's your name, other guy? What? My name is Brandon. Holy smokes, it's that yeah. Brandon guy. Wow, what yeah, up? We're back. We're back. Yeah. So glad to have a warm welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Even Cynthia's. Indeed, and it seems we have three, three new followers. Smashed wine. The real Donald Trump F and Runk Punker. Thanks for giving us a follow. So sweet. Is that you, Josh? Runk Punker? I think that's who you might be. Uh, we bring you none other than Buck Bumble. Ah, uh, yeah. Game with probably the coolest intro music. It, it really is. It really is. It dawns upon me as we were watching uh, our little intro video there that uh, I probably should probably should have chose Dr. Mario because uh, that would have been thematic <laughs> after <laughs> after that video. But hey, chose Buck Bumble, so get fucked, thematics. That's how it rolls sometimes. That is how it rolls sometimes. Keep guessing. That's right. That's how we like to do. Here it is. Had some claps for our friends over there. All right, well, um, that was uh, our lovely little intro video, uh, helped filmed by uh, Wheel Machine. Hey, thanks for showing up there, Asha man. Um, we just played this pretty. I would probably be yanking my own chain to say we just played this very deadly intro video. Um, if you don't like, if you uh, if you missed it, then um, well, I guess it's gone forever. You'll probably never see it again. Unless maybe we play it um, next time for some reason. Yeah, the the next time we take a two month break. <laughs> <laughs> Ayo. Oh, we're not gonna do that, right? Never. Yeah. No way. Uh, well, um, yeah, so this is what we do. We're trying to beat the entire console, uh, N364, just saying this, for some of the new Pope. Well, not, not, not beat, not beat, just, tr we're just beating. try, just try. No, that's, well, we've already beaten a whole bunch, I mean, <laughs> by beating it, I mean to say that we'll have played every single game on N64, yeah. and, uh, we do this every day without fail, I'm happy <laughs> to tell you now uh, that we're oh, back. Yeah. We are making a commitment. We are doing it every single day for a minimum of two hours a day. Every day. Wink. <laughs> no wink. We're, we're disciplined. We were gone all that time at discipline training camp. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's not what that video said, though. You're lying. You need to go to line better training camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, ladies and gentlemen, he's, he's right. You can't can't beat that. I do need to learn to lie better. That is... I cannot tell a lie. 
That's true. I can't tell a lie. Well, uh, should we uh, should we try this game out? I think we should. Sweet. Um, another nice little cool little perk in case uh, anybody's watching who is new. Um, we don't want to make it all competitive. It's not always about competitive, but it is kind of nice to see roughly, you know, who can get farther in the allotted time. And it's kind of a nice little, uh, a nice little added bonus to playing all the games. And I believe the score right now, Darren, as it stands, uh -huh. is uh, very, very close. It's uh, thirty-three to thirty-one. Oh yeah, I, I believe you're, you're ahead. Is that right? Slight leading, yeah. slight leading, but there are many games to go. Oh yes. Well. Um, looks like we're ready to go. Mission one, shock strike. Looks like we're supposed to kill everything. And that's it. So, let's go. All right. Okay, okay controls. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's zoom. Very okay. strange All controls. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, fire. Oh, man. Okay, loopity loop. Barrel roll. Whoa. You can do some pretty strange moves. Okay. Yes. Okay, I guess that's accelerate. What's this button do? Stop. What is up? How do you go up? This is a... Uh... It's down, down on the control stick. Oh my god. Yeah. So, you know, it's a flying game, so it's, you know, inverse controls. I thought it was D-pad. Oh, D-pad. It's D-pad, man. What are you talking about? It's not D-pad. The D-pad, that's... D-pad is forward? What is going on? What? D-pad is forward? What are you talking about? Yeah, man. Try the D-pad. It, like, you fly. The D-pad doesn't do shit. What? Oh, what wait. Okay. About? Yeah, no. All right. Yeah, you're right. It is doing stuff. But A also goes forward. This is, uh... This is like actually a pretty sweet game um, for its time, I could tell. A uh, little frustrating uh, being where we are today, but I like the idea that it's like a platformer looking thing. You can like, oh, what's under here? You can explore and stuff, you know, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Okay. Well, I can see Darren's already zoomed out of the tutorial area, so if I want a chance to keep up, I have to, uh, I have to roll. It's time to bickety buck bumble. Yeah, that's right. Gate open. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, enemy sighted. Oh, these guys explode. That's cool. Yeah, all the insects are like bionic or something? Is that robots? Bionic, bionic. not organic. Call a cyborg. Call it psychotron. Uh... A okay. Megadeth song, that Megadeth song that's uh, real cheesy. I mean, all of them are cheesy, but uh -huh. the Megadeth song is particularly cheesy. Extra cheese. Oh man, makes me sick. It's so cheesy. It's called Psychotron, and uh, yeah, uh, that's all, all I can really say about that. Are you having trouble with those wasps? Yeah, uh, trying to aim at stuff is uh, impossible. <laughs> I find uh, I just go 9-11 on them, just kind of crash into them. That works. This looks like a better gun. Whoa! Neat. Hey. Hey. Some of these bugs are not very nice. Yeah, that's definitely a better gun. Right by the third gate or whatever. Now to figure out how to switch. How to switch guns. That one. Ooh, it's a sniper. 
<laughs> a bee with a sniper rifle? All right. This looks like a cool little blaster. Oh, I got a bogey on my tail. Use the brake. Hmm. That's how it's done like that. See that, ladies and gentlemen? You can't teach that. That's instinct. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like there should be a lock on or something, right? There really should be. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Look at these little bees. I need some more healths. Death is imminent. Oh, cool. When you die, your guy screams. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I learned my lessons. Now I know what to do. The future is mine. And over there. Oh, okay. Uh, those explode. Those are mines, I guess. You have to kill all of those wasps, do you think? I think I did. Nice. Oh, uh, there's these weird, like... Whoa! Okay. That was an explodey thing, apparently. I think if you hold B, you can turn faster. Brandon's a little tip. I feel like there should be a lock on button, you know? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, B definitely, that's like, ooh. ooh. I'm helpful. See, that's another thing, folks, anybody's watching here that's new. Um, look, it's not exactly a competition. We're buddies at heart, you know, we help each other out. We don't just give each other bad advice. We're nice guys. We like to help each other out, beat games. And Darren is such a good friend, let me tell you. Once upon a time, um, I told him it was my birthday, and it wasn't my birthday, but he didn't want me to not have a birthday present on the day that wasn't my birthday, and so he, like, rushed home and, like, made a cool homemade uh, card and printed it from his printer and everything, and uh, then I had to tell him it wasn't actually my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vaguely recall doing that. That was awesome. That's so cool. What a good guy, you know? And uh, guess what, Darren? Today is my birthday. Fuck you. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Ask the chat. Anybody who knows me will know. Well, anybody who knows my birthday in the chat will know that today is my birthday. Isn't that right, Brian? Wee Machine? Go ahead. Let people know. Darren doesn't believe me. <laughs> really? It is. Uh, <laughs> Darren, would I ever lie to you? Uh, yeah, 100%. That's no. uh, yeah. Me? Yeah. No way. I wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. So far, Buck Bumble appears to be a game with a neat soundtrack where the premise is that you fly in circles uh, because other things are also flying in circles. Which I think is pretty much what bugs do in real life, right? They just fly in circles all day? Try to figure out how to, how to do the things. Also, shout out to my buddy Brian who removed a wasp nest this morning. So watching me chase these wasps might be kind of cathartic. I don't know, these... I don't, I don't think we're doing a good job at killing these wasps, so maybe it's not. This is like the wasp's revenge. Could be. Come on, die, you big fat thing. Okay, so their butts are armored. That must be exactly it. Notice that they don't want to point their faces at me. There you go. That was exactly it. Bug guts. 
What are those? Oh, those must be those landlines you were talking about. Hmm. Well, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I just wish I could fly up faster. Yeah, there really... There's no way to... doesn't seem to be a way to go straight up. Hmm. Trying to figure out where to go next. Maybe I just haven't killed all the things? I think that's the thing. I didn't kill all the things. Probably many more things to kill. That's a bug's life! Kill all the things. That's what the bugs do. Murder. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Too scared to look at your screen. I feel like I killed all the things. I feel like our radar should be telling us something. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to help a whole lot. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's flowies. There's reary pads. Let's try this um, sniper rifle oh. looking thing. I did it! <laughs> oh, you did it? You just had to kill all the things? Yep. Oh, me too! Look at us! Oh, cool! We have a 10-month-old watching. Whoa! That is so cool. Um, you know, I'd like to say that's our youngest viewer, but uh, we actually had one um, like coming out of the uterus, basically. <laughs> yes. Dad was holding up the the N three sixty four as the baby was coming out. <laughs> First thing baby probably ever saw was like, "Whoa, I'm a viewer." Yep. Yeah. And that's on God. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Why do you say sorry? Because life, uh, life can never match up to that moment. <laughs> my buddy uh, Dick P, who might still be in the chat, um, drummer for my band, um, he's such a courteous guy, and he's very much thinking about other people. And um, on our recording in the studio, right after we played this awesome tune, or at least it sounds really awesome, I think, on our recording, it's like, oh, that was that was cool. I'm like reeling, and then we hear Dick P say. Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny and Canadian to like go through this uh, this exploration of music, and then it ends with "sorry." <laughs> uh -huh. It's, like, it's kind of like that same sentiment, like "sorry, your brain had to get blown." <laughs> hmm. You know, it's weird, because there's, like, you're, like, a bug, and yet there's, like, satellite dishes and structures that are, like, really tiny, like they're made by other bugs or something. It's very weird. Are you guys getting the music in this, too? Can you guys hear that? Yeah, and like we're in the we're in the recording studio place, and uh, we're going over the production, and we're like, should we remove this? Uh, someone's clearing their throat, and like, yeah, remove that. And it's like, oh, should we re re remove this? There's like someone scratching a string, and it doesn't sound good. I'm like, yeah, remove that. And then there's like, sorry, boys. And I'm like, hmm. And then the producer's like, no, we're keeping it <laughs> <laughs> for comedic value. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. That is good. Okay, what else we got? 
Hmm, yeah, this is uh, flying in circles. It's pretty cool. This game really makes you feel like you're a bug version of James Bond. Hey, Darren. Yes. Um, I would like to have a word with you about your controversial takes that you've been saying on the internet. My controversial takes? Yeah, you have a big beef. Uh, let's see here. It says uh, here that um, you argue that James Bond should not be a woman, that she has to be, or it has to be a male. What's what's up with that? Do you want to care to defend your position there? Yes, my position is that James Bond is lame, so they he should stay a man because he's lame, and he can't. Women are too cool to be James Bond. Well, I think the incels will agree that yeah, um, definitely chicks are too cool. I mean, you gotta be cool to pick up chicks, and James Bond picks up chicks, therefore James Bond is a chick. Who also picks up chicks. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that checks out. There, you whoa. heard it. You heard it here. Whoa, what's whoa? I got I got a life up. <laughs> oh, sh nice. I was almost dead, too, so it came at a good time. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Just blew that guy. Hey. I didn't mean it that way. Come on, guys, get your head out of the gutter. It's my birthday. <laughs> Dick P will be able to vouch it's my birthday. It's written on the calendar I gave him a couple years ago. The calendar full of lies. <laughs> the calendar probably has smarch on it, too. Uh, uh, ooh. It might. It might, actually. Yeah, um, uh, you know what would make this game a hell of a lot better would be a lock-on system. Star Fox had something of a lock-on system for a special move. So I feel like it was available, but they chose not to do that. They wanted you to have this feeling of frustration spinning in circles. Indeed. I mean, what the heck is this thing? Big lion's head. You can land on it at least. That's kind of cool. From the devil's mouth. The devil's mouth. That's scary. I know. I'm a scary guy. You knew this by now. Yeah, I suppose I did. Scary guy who's bad at lying. Oh. Oh, you're blowing stuff up, man. Kill the weevils. Wow. Oh, boy. Kill the bow weevils. As soon as I figure out what a weevil is, they're dead. Oh man, these weevils are pretty, pretty good. They downed me. Yeah, they got me too. Under. Did you blow up any of these satellites? It's kind of got that like bluey, glowy blue shit, like the other stuff you can blow up, but. Doesn't seem I to sure, want to blow up. I sure did. I blew up everyone I came across, and I don't think anything neat came of it. Okay. So, like, maybe it's just a big old time sink. Mm, 
Okay. I'm a buck bumble. Yee, look at me go. I'm a buck bumble. Uh. Biggity buck bumble. Okay, I want to see... Oh, here we go. Um, another uh, question for you, Darren. Okay. Uh, another controversial take I've seen you take on social media. Mm -hmm. um, it says here that um, you agree with uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and, uh, quote, I hope them fuckers uh, get what they deserve. Uh, I cannot endorse that statement. That one... That one is blatantly false. Uh, also, I'd like to apologize to any younger listeners we may have in the audience, but, but since it's a quote, I'm allowed to say that. It's okay when it's a quote, see? But it's not a quote. I've denied the quote, so it's not a quote. So that's uh, it's all on you now. Of course you would deny the quote. I mean, so look, Darren appears is a... Uh, uh, hypocrite because he says one thing but actually he, he's now uh, pretending to be saying another so doesn't have the uh, courage to hold firm uh, when he's placed on the spot yeah they call me old cowardly Darren I'm like the cowardly lion but not a lion just a Darren so <laughs> not not as not as cool? I don't know, is the Cowardly Lion cool? The Cowardly Lion's not cool. Why am I even asking that? Who's I like, yeah, I love the Cowardly Lion. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that um, movie or read that book. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely seen the movie. But I don't really remember. I guess I've also seen the Broadway play, which is a prequel, or I guess it's kind of a prequel, but then it's also a retelling where the Wicked Witch is the good guy. Oh, I might be into that. I might be into that. I myself am um, a fan of the bad guys. I align with them. Whoa, you align with the bad guys? Holy moly. I just think it's, uh, you know, it's a little too simplistic to just call someone a bad guy, you know? But what if they are just a bad guy? Did you think of that? Well, who decides that? The producer? Yeah, you just get to decide. You know what? Brandon's the bad guy. Yeah, that's actually... That's actually what I've decided. You're the bad guy. <laughs> I'm the protagonist, and you're the antagonist in this, uh, this, in this uh, scenario. <laughs> I mean, you do you do lie all the time. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, and you're yeah. like uh, pro Russia, so you're the good guy, right? <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> just proves my point with your lying, with your lies. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You look out for those weevils, man. They will mess you up. Yeah, they got you again. They did. They did. Did, oh, you, did wow. you have you? Do you know where to find the health? Uh, the health pack in this stage. Oh, did I you, don't know how to pack, pack. But I do know you can grab the honey. The honey. The uh, yeah. Well, it's not honey, but there's like. Uh, some nectar drip coming off of them flowers. What? Yeah, it's the only way I heal. Oh man, I didn't even. Oh yeah, a little drip there. Holy yeah. moly! Wow, I was just going through this without healing until I found that one health. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> wow. Well, kudos to you then, man. You got that bumble skill. Yeah, that's they call me the biggity buck. Bumbles. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. So this theme is uh, reused um, with some heavy duty um, AI help to um, 
use this theme over top of other game themes. So you can hear like the Buck Bundle theme. Maybe it's like the lyrics or the vocal line um, added to like um, the athletic theme or Super Mario Brothers or anything like that. It's pretty cool. Sorry, what, what was that? Yeah, you can like make tunes out of the vocal track of Buck Bumble. Oh, oh, I, I see. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Did I say yeah? Or did I say yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, man, that that uh, that tip with the flowers is so so good. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to help, friend. See, that's how you can tell I'm a bad guy because I give the helpful advice to help people. That's right, and I'm the good guy because I never actually told you where the full health upgrade, where the full health <laughs> yeah. thing was. You're you're basically Optimus Prime, and I'm Megatron. Yeah, yeah. I'm Optimus Prime. I love taking faces. I love. <laughs> I love executing people, begging for their lives. I'm, I am the most optimist. <laughs> I think I have only now understood. Whoa. Oh, the, what the uh, hell is that? I'm learning this game. And as it as you learn a little more about it, it gets a little less um, ridiculous. Oh boy. Oh boy. sound right. effect are you back at the first uh stage uh i was at the first stage what happens well what happens is if whoa, if you die when you have a uh, zero mans you go back to the beginning of the game oh shit this is one of those games mm-hmm I don't have a ton of time, so if I can't pass you, or if you just don't die, I think this W will go to you, my friend. Oh boy. Oh jeez, oh jeez. No pressure, no pressure. Did you get past the weevils? Yeah, those weevils ain't nothing. I no, killed their ain't. asses. The problem with the weevils is just you can't be impatient and stupid and fly like right in front of them like I did. Let's... Just gotta be using the right weapon. The big yellow gun, right? Oh yeah. I one shot them. Nice. You know, it's different than a lot of other flying games because as a bug, you can just like kind of just stop and hover. And uh, besides like chopper games, there's not a lot of games I think where it lets you do that kind of thing. No, yeah, it's pretty... not, not very typical. Yeah. Like pilot wings with jetpack mode is harder than this. Oh man, pilot wings. That game is 
rough. Yeah, it was uh, not appreciated very much by uh, ourselves and the uh, viewers. Oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep trying to kill everything. It yeah. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere to like go, though, afterwards. I don't see any locked doors or nothing. I'm wasting my time on the, the satellites again just because I feel like it's a thing. Oh, man. If it's actually you gotta kill all the satellites, I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking. It might not be. It's hard to tell. Because. I think it might just be like satellite or radar jammers or whatever. Not sure. Come on, Buck Bumble. Biggity Buck Bumble. Attacking stuff on the ground is annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flying up is hard, too. You get inside the um, wheelbarrow. Oh, yeah. I never actually... I was forgot to go check out what was in there. I never actually went in there. Everything didn't do anything, so That's trouble. <laughs> yep. Hey, can you be sure you killed everything? Well, everything on this in this little area here. Get out of there! Get out of there, Buck! No! Oh, the weevils got gotcha. you. The last one. Well, the funny thing is, when when they get you, you can't peel out because they um, they explode when they get close to you. Like, it doesn't actually have to hit you. Yeah. It's like a remote mine that you can just de detonate when they're close enough. Hmm. Lack of save spots. Um, hard to find enemies. View briefing. <laughs> Shit. What? Destroy the three radar dishes. Oh, there you go. It doesn't say anything about kill all enemies. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, Roberto. Buck Bumble, you gotta fly up, silly. Let's go. Okay. No radar issue. I guess now's as good a time as any to check out the wheelbarrow. Check out the what? Check out the wheelbarrow. Mm.
Don't kill me, Weevil. Swoop in. Got one bullet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Need help. Oh, they dropped there. the thing. That, they dropped the weapon that kills them. Isn't that nice. Yay! <laughs> GG, man. Oh, I didn't kill all the weasels? Oh, no, I did I think I'm right on your tail. Maybe not. If I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. This time I watched the mission briefing so I know what to do. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a health kit. Nope. And water kills you instantly. As it should. As it should. Oh, and they send me all the way back to the beginning. No, I think this game is yours, friend. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. I'm the buckiest bumble that ever buzzed. Let's give us some buzz. GG, GG. GG. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, thanks so much for people who tuned in. Whoa, 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 Brandon. What? We got to rate the game still. Nope, we're done. We're not, no, we're not done. We got to rate the game. No, perfect game, five out of five. Oh, oh God. Right, let, me, let me rephrase. Um... Great idea, um, a little bit nauseating, a little bit repetitive, it's fun to explore, um, soundtrack is cliche, I like it, um, I can't see myself actually spending more time playing it though, uh, especially having to redo the level again, 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 um, whoa, two player game, that might be cool, that's probably just a verse, um, not terrible, but uh, aged and not so enjoyable. I give it a one. All right, let me fix that. Two, two, four, three. That one. That one. Three, three, three. Three, eh? That's right. Yeah, I agree with a lot with a, a lot of what you said. It's uh, you know, it's definitely aged. Uh, you can feel you can feel it for sure. Uh, it's definitely a little rough around the age, edges. So, I would say that the game would be a three, but this intro song puts it at a four. This song is worth a whole point. Nice. Nice. Well, should we um, get back to that uh, intro song? Uh, uh, let me, actually, let me turn up your volume. It's playing right now. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Anybody in the chat have anything to say about that? Can you throw that tune back on? I think you have to hit right start or something. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the buck. Bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Alright, it seems the chat has no reaction. They don't care about bumping to the base with our buddy Buck Bumble. Well, it does have alliteration on its side. I gotta say that. Sure does. Well. All right. Um, that was that was quite fun, and I'm happy to play games again with my buddy. Uh, happy 35th birthday to me. And um, happy fake birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
have to show my ID. I don't know. How do I how do I prove it? Show your fake do. ID. Okay. So uh, anybody <laughs> anybody who's around can can prove. They're all in on it. They're all in on it. <laughs> They're all in on it. All right. There's a bit of an echo here, and it is kind of awesome. Well, I guess. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And we hope to see you in the future. Adios. Goodbye.